Okay, so I have a weird idea. Obviously, if it's not weird, it doesn't make it my channel. This is a T-Mobile Tower 5G, whatever you want to call these thingies, right? And I have a Mint Mobile SIM card. Of course, on my phone that I already made a video about it. The six month thingy, five gigs a month. And I'm thinking, what if I put the SIM card from this Mint Mobile on this uh, home 5G router thingy. What's the worst that could happen, right? And now I'm gonna try it and find out with you what is that gonna mean? Or if it's even gonna work, because the main part of this is to work. And one thing I would say, even if it works, five gigs that comes per month on this cheapo plan I have here is not gonna be enough for quite anything, literally. But we can only try to find out, and by the way, let's not, yes, I like the Mint app, but I see, as you see, I only have <laughs> 2.9 gigs out of five. How did I spend almost two gigs? I have zero idea. I honestly do not know, but hey, that's Mint. But we're gonna try if it works in a pinch, just in case you wanna try it with one of these home network 5G thingies. Well, that's why I have a YouTube channel and I don't mind experimenting with stuff so we all can learn and we can see if it's even viable now let me just insert the sim card really quick okay so how the hell does this one go in i think this way okay yep it clicked that's all i care and now let me just plug it in so we see if it fires up and starts working i don't know where i put the original usb c charger typey thingy but i have this lenovo 45 watts so it should be more than enough for it and i shall plug it okay and we are at the point that we just insert this thingy here and see if it starts that's what matters right we see the t-mobile logo already but let's see if it fires up and it says 50g or 70g or whatever well, 5G, obviously, I'm just joking, in case you didn't get that part. And let's see, and it's one thing to say 5G and another thing to actually work, so. And I will turn on the Wi-Fi and connect to this tower here. Once it connects, if it connects, and see if we have internet with uh, Mint Mobile. That will be an interesting thingy to do, I guess. If, you, if you're into that stuff, who's talking? <laughs> okay, we'll give it a minute to power up and uh, we'll see what happens okay something very interesting happened here let me zoom you guys in just a little bit more not sure if you can see it right there but interestingly enough it says 5g right there and it doesn't make a lot of sense if it works but it says your connection is very good and it's 5g how that's gonna work well there's one way to know about that. Let me go to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so now whew, we are going to connect to this box right here and see how that goes. T-Mobile official. I'm going to put the password really quick and hit connect and see if it's if it connects. And ha oh, T-Mobile official. It says connected. Okay, that is something else. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the VPN really quick, just so we don't have any interference. As you see, it is disconnected. And we'll do a quick speed test, I guess. Whoa, this is, uh, this is interesting right now. T-Mobile, yeah, it found it. Okay, that 42 ping. That's not bad. Look, the speeds are actually pretty good. <laughs> Whoa. Now, I don't know how many gigabytes is going to eat from my Mint Mobile uh, SIM here, but it's working. So your Mint Mobile would work on this box. Let me just click here. Yep, it's still connected and connected really, really good. As you see there, it's working. Okay, so... Let me connect to the 5 gigahertz network of this box really quick. It's T-Mobile 5, I think I put. Yep, T-Mobile 05. And these settings that you are seeing right here, I had since I had since it was with a T-Mobile SIM card that I uh, put here on the side. I took the SIM uh, T-Mobile SIM card out, and all I did, I inserted the uh, Mint Mobile in. Absolutely no other settings or nothing else did I change. 
Nothing. So this is mind boggling for me too, in case you are thinking that. Let me put the password in this one really quick. Okay. And let's see if it connects on uh, uh, 5G, whatever. 5G Wi Fi. Obviously, this whole pack is 5G, but the 5G, yep, TMO5 that I put, it is connected. Speed test really quick. Okay. Let me hit connect again. Okay. 49, yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Whoa. This speed is actually really good. I am. I I don't know what to say, guys. I'm seriously... I mean, I know you shouldn't be surprised because you would think T-Mobile and T-Mobile, but I tried this off video. It was when in the beginning when I just bought it. I tried it with a uh, Metro PCS SIM card, which is T-Mobile, and it did not work. I tried it with a US Mobile SIM card, which runs on T-Mobile. Yes, the GSM version. I tried... It says 5G, but on that SIM card, it did not work. It just doesn't get internet. And I had Mint Mobile, and I thought, okay, let me try this one on video. Even if it fails, well, I'm going to let everybody see it failing. But as you see, I was wrong. It is actually working, and it's working really, really excellent. Now, how many gigabytes did it take for me to literally just to run speed tests? Well, I'm going to undo everything and... Plug the SIM card back on my phone and see how we are uh, looking. Let me get the SIM tray out of here. And yeah, further proof that I didn't have a SIM card on it. Okay, let me unplug this thingy right here. Yep, let me just cover these, what some people would call personal information. I'm not sure how much personal information is on this box because I don't really use it as a daily driver. But I bought it and I do all these things because... I like to share all my experiments with all of you guys. Seriously, I just I just like doing that. Come on, go in. I'm not going to plug the other thingy right now, so who cares? Okay, I think it goes this way. Yeah, boom. Mint card goes back where it belongs for now. Okay, waiting for the... Let me turn off the Wi-Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi is turned off. And it's starting to get network right there. We have Edge. Waiting for it to get to 4G or 5G. Yep, 4G LT. That's all I need. And uh, now let's check the ah, app itself, I guess. Mint Mobile app. And yep, we have 2.6. Did, did I have 2.8? If I'm not wrong, when I started this video, something like that. And now we have 2.6. So it ate quite a lot of data actually just to run the speed tests I'm not gonna lie that's quite a lot just to run speed tests but if you have mint mobile i don't know unlimited or whatever they might have now just know it that it works in one of these boxes and this box is simply a box that was bought for t-mobile really nothing i did not do any software unlocking or jailbreak or whatever i didn't do none of that i simply Put the uh, Mint Mobile SIM card in it, flipped it around, plugged the power, waited for it to fully start, and as you saw, it went by itself on 5G, almost full bars, and it works. So, if you're wondering, here's your answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Link will be below if you want to get Mint Mobile whatever. The uh, referral link, I guess you would call that. I, I don't know, because I bought the six months thingy here. So in case you want to get a month, I think they give you a month free or some stuff like that. You go ahead and, and click it. Besides that, I have nothing more and nothing less to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please share it with someone that you might think no needs and wants to know more about this whole thing that we did here. And we'll see you next time. Bye!